You can't be a doctor without a medical license. A quick informative presentation brought to you by the OSMA's Legal Services Group. I realize you're a busy medical student and you may not have time to watch a four minute presentation on how to get your license in Ohio. So if that's the case, I'll go through it quickly with you. First, you need to pass all three steps of the USMLE or Comlex USA. You need to complete the Federation Verification Services or FCBS application online. Then you complete Ohio's online application, the CLAF. And then you're going to expect about 10 to 12 weeks to process your license. Do you think you need more information? If so, keep watching. Okay, I'm glad you've decided to stay with me. Now we're going to slow it down a bit, and first let's hear from a medical student about what he knows about getting his license in the state of Ohio. And also we're going to hear from a medical resident who's already been through the licensing process in Ohio. My name is Alex Berg. I'm a third year medical student, and thus far in our careers we have not been exposed to the processes and how to get a medical license in the state of Ohio. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Munich. I'm the chair of the resident and fellow section. Um, I got my license two years ago, and this was not an easy process. And the actual process to Ohio wasn't bad. My application for FCVS was, I think, a little bit over $300, and then about the same for Ohio. So do you anticipate having to pay on top of your loans and new purchases and you know, starting residency or maybe even finishing res residency? Budget that amount and do plan on the time. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. First, you want to complete your Federation Credentials Verification Services, or FCBS, application online. It's important that you complete this application first, as this application pre-populates items in Ohio's online application. These are very important web addresses. The first web address is the FCBS application. The second web address is the State Medical Board of Ohio's web address where you'll find Ohio's online application. Write them down, bookmark them, memorize them. You're probably sensing a theme here. It's very important, again, that you fill out the FCBS application first. The base initial processing fee is $295. Please remember that is the base initial processing fee. You'll probably be paying a little bit more than that. And again, the FCBS profile pre-populates Ohio's application. Ohio's online application is called the CLAF, which is the Common License Application Form. The majority of the application is online, but not all of it. Please pay attention to the next slide. Okay, this is your official snail mail alert. You have been warned. Although most of Ohio's application process is online, there are certain items that must be mailed to the medical board's offices. Your application fee, the notarized affidavit and authorization, and Ohio's addendum to the application must all be mailed to the medical board. Okay, we're almost done here. I just want to hit on a few points that are very, very important. Please remember it normally takes the medical board about two to three months to process a license. Don't make commitments until you have a medical license. And remember, if there are items on either the FCVS application or Ohio's application that require more information, it may significantly extend the time it takes to get your medical license. And now get ready for some words of advice from the Executive Director of the State Medical Board of Ohio, Mr. Richard Whitehouse. Pass all three steps of the USMLE or Comlex USA within a seven year period. Fill out application forms completely, pay your fees, and provide additional information if you answer yes to any background question. And allow 10 or 12 weeks for licensure processing. Call the Medical Board's licensure department if you have any questions.